Our first rule to confidence is act like you're the best. What happens inside a human being whenever they walk around sort of like wimpy and scared and they're showing their weakness, they change inside, but also their, their competition changes, right? <clears throat> I remember wrestling a kid years ago in the semis of high school state and but and he was really good. And I remember was watching like two years earlier. And for some reason, right, I kind of thought one day I'm gonna have this kid. <clears throat> sure enough, state finals, I think it was a semis sophomore year, I had this kid and, and I won, but it was a very close match. And I remember thinking, and then, you know, a few months later, we didn't have the internet back then. I find out all these guys that I just destroyed that had beaten this kid. And I thought, you know, I, sh I got scared. But what also what I learned was the kid or the man or the woman who you're going to wrestle in the state finals or national finals three years from now, you probably don't know who they are, but they're probably watching. And you might be watching them too. Maybe they're, uh, Maybe the match will happen. Maybe it won't. There's a good chance it will. I mean, strange things happen in wrestling, right? I remember as a freshman in high school, I went overseas to Colombia, South America. I lost in the semis to a kid from Colombia. Probably didn't wrestle great. The next year at Junior Nationals, which is called Fargo now, right? But we were at Northern Iowa University back then. I had this kid. Maybe it was even first round. He moved to the United States and was living in know, California or something. And I had him and I ended up teching him because I got better and, you know, it was a better environment. But I was like, are you kidding me? I wrestled that kid eight months ago overseas and now I have him again first round at Junior Nationals. This is crazy. And you see these things, right? I got to wrestle Barry Davis. He beat the hell out of me, but it was cool. I had his poster in my room when I was a little kid, right? He's like eight years older than me. But when you get to be 23 years old, uh, I was 21, you're wrestling a 29-year-old, that's not that out of the ordinary, right? So he was not that much older than me when I got to be at 20, 21 years old. I thought it was completely awesome. I get to get a chance to wrestle Barry Davis. <clears throat> So you don't know what's going to happen, but I know that when people see you at the weigh-in line and you're acting like you're suffering, you shouldn't show that you're suffering. If you're scared, you can't show it. If you hurt, you can't show it. You just have to act like you're the best. And that's our number one rule. And there's some reasons why. I feel good about myself when I act confident. My dad called it a whipping boy. Don't walk around like a little whipping boy. You walk around like you own the place. I heard that a million times. Walk around like you own this place. You walk in there like you own that gym. And he said, there was a tournament back in the, in the day at Rockbridge Wrestling Tournament. There was a 16-man bracket and they wrestled for 15th place. So someone got 16th place, right? I don't think they're allowed to do that anymore. But he said, hey, I don't care if you're going for 15th place. You act like you're the best and you walk on the mat like you own the mat. And so that was kind of preached to me as a kid and it kind of uh, was very helpful. But over the time, I've become, you know, older and older and wrestled in college. And now, you know, I've been uh, coaching with our our wrestling uh, company since 1999. PerlerWrestling.com, everything is there. Man, I'm coaching kids and I see it. I see it at the Olympic level, the national level, the college level, all the way down to the, the six-year-olds, right? We have a few of them. And it's vitally important. It changes you as a person to walk around kind of scared and wimpy, but it changes you positively to walk around like you're the man, like you're the best, like you own the place. And if you Google this, act as if, acting as if, like a million things pop up because it's a it's it's sort of a principle of success. It's been studied in like, you know, science labs and stuff. What happens internally when someone acts as if they act as if they know they're gonna win, they act as if life's gonna turn out, they act as if this um this setback is not a big deal, it's just a setback. Won't bother me a bit, right? They act as if 
uh, good things are going to happen for me. They act as if I'm going to get through this, right? They act as if. So same kind of concept, right? So rule number one for confidence is learn to act like, well, I say learn to act like you're the best, okay? Some of you may be turned off by that because, you know, you, you think it's bad, but I'm not saying be arrogant. I'm saying inner arrogance. There's a book called The Edge. It's kind of famous. I, I studied it as a kid. I don't even think it's in print anymore, but there was a whole chapter on inner arrogance and they study all of these super successful businessmen, a lot of professional athletes. And, uh, you know, it talks about inner arrogance. These people just have a chip on their shoulder. They feel like things are going to work out for them in their life, right? So acting like you're the best, uh, Jordan Peter says, uh, hold your head high with your shoulders back, right? Same same type of thing. So you parents and coaches need to preach this to your athletes. Share this, hit subscribe, follow us, and I would encourage you to go very, very deep with PerlerWrestling.com. We have our online wrestling course. I just chatted with Stefan Micic this weekend and his dad for about 45 minutes. He was third in the world and he wrestles for the Olympic team now in Serbia. And uh, he found my program at, at 11. Change his whole career, right? So our online course will be perfect for you guys. You don't want to be at the mercy of a coach and a team. You want to be at the mercy of yourself. Now, you need coaches and teams, right? Even my academy kids, they're very blessed, okay? We got 26,000 square foot of space here. I got four coaches coming tonight. I want to stand over the top of about uh, 50 kids. They'll be driving, uh, one family drives nine hours round trip just to train with us. For, for two and a half hours, two hours and 45 minutes. But I would say 20 of them are driving three hours round trip, hour and a half each way or more. But they're very blessed. And I still tell them, you have to you have to do some of these things on your own. There's things I can't do for you, you know? And I say, get some on your own mat time, on your own drill time, get here early. Don't play spike ball, get here early and just spend 15 minutes working on your knee slides or whatever trouble spot you have, right? So uh, you don't want to be at the mercy of anyone. But if you need to take the bull by the horns, you need our online academy. That way you have everything right there. I tell people all the time, you watch your wrestling technique videos on Instagram. I text them to them, not all of them. I text the ones that are necessary to my nephew. And I'm like, okay, you need to drill this. Don't just look at it. Just hit 10 reps of this and practice. So if you watch technique videos, you need to hit save, go to practice, and hit 10 reps of each of those. See, now you're practicing the muscle of actually pulling the trigger and doing something with your life rather than just being a scroller, you know? I mean, take action. But if you need to take action, our online academy could be good. But I would encourage you to go deep with us. You can build a whole wrestling career. We have a college recruiting service. We have our weekend competition camps. We got one this weekend. You can get a month's worth of wrestling crammed into a weekend. Uh, five and a half hours of live wrestling with kids from, you know, sometimes 20 plus different states. And drill time, a weekly academy, summer camps. 1,018 wrestlers flew in last summer to train with us here at our overnight camp facility in St. Louis. So either way, PerlerWrestling.com. But share this video. Help somebody out. And, uh, you know, start acting confidently. Don't walk around like a whipping boy. No one needs all that.